Let the games begin, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron podcast, and we're coming to you live from round six of the Galactic Championship. This is it, guys. This is a fight to get into the cut. The top premier level event of the year right here on your screen across the world. These guys are fighting for the cut right now. Timo Herzl and Nick Burke. Only 32 people get to play tomorrow. That's it. One of those 32 will be our galactic champion. Super excited to see what happens. Let's get into it. My co-host for today has been, and this entire weekend, is the one, the only, the beautiful... Ryan Moisture Farmer. Air horns in the chat. (laughs) (laughs) We got a real great matchup today. Uh, So Timo Hetzel on the left side of your screen running Whisper, Juke, Stealth Device, Soon Tier Fell with Predator, and Darth Vader with Fire Control System. He's also got, um, he's also the first player. And then Nick Burke, Sinar Jameis Engineer of the First Order, Blackout with Trick Shot, and Kylo. Just only one upgrade in that squad trick shot. Look how much, look how much, very little space being taken up on the table for both of these players. Um, this Whisper with Juke and Stealth, Dune Tier with Pred and Vader with FCS. Keep in mind, no afterburners on that Vader. Uh, so he's going to be aggressive with him. This is going to be a very, very interesting ace matchup here. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I think last uh, last week, Last week or two weeks ago, excuse me, um, our our man William Hagwood proved that Vader without afterburners is good. He shut me up about it. I'm not going to say that Vader without afterburners can't do it. I'll say that he's less flexible. But if you put Vader in the right spot in the first place, who needs afterburners if you just crush him from where you just landed? So, we'll leave, point. we'll leave it at that. The bets are already open. I think they might be open for another couple minutes. Yes, four minutes, 30 seconds. I'm expecting a bit of a delayed engagement here just because these are this is a game of aces right now. We got initiative 566 six on Timo's side. Nick has that Sinar Jameis engineer there, 155. Though I'm expecting him to try to protect that Sinar and then let it come in and wreak havoc going forward. Um, you know, Whisper, I think, might be the uh, the key to victory on Timo's side. If you can see, if Whisper can end up being in the right places at the right time, you have a lot of movement flexibility there. Can be in a lot of different places depending on where that dial is set. Good Whisper play, I think, will end up being a win for Timo. You make a mistake with Whisper, you probably lose the game. Yeah, I mean, Whisper does get a little bit of um, flexibility and leniency with the stealth device getting a little more defense uh there a little bit more um latitude with those shields as well i mean five health on whisper is still a chunk uh but we know it, this is going to be a tickle fight a little bit and i think <laughs> what you have to what you have to be worried about if you're teemo just a little is vader he's the hammer in this and i bet in a lot of matchups he is okay sacrificing vader losing those 69 nice points and, you know, having Whisper and Soontir close and sweep. The problem is it might be tough to close on these, uh, all these um, silencers mm-hmm. if you lose Vader, right? Let's say Whisper and Soontir kill that Sinar Jameis Engineer or even Blackout um, one of those two, but aren't able to get anything else on the other two and Vader dies. You're looking at still advantage Nick, I believe. I can't see what the total points are for these for each of these squads. I right? think there's a pretty gnarly bid on the left side. Is there? I I can't tell. But regardless, um, losing Vader's not uh, does put Timo guys, behind a little bit, and he's you guys the most vulnerable. What is it? Uh, well, Timo's list has a two point bid. That's okay. It. Oh, Got okay. It. Nick, it has a uh, actually a nine point bid. Nine I'm sorry, I had, it, I had it flipped. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'll be interesting to see target priority. Let's, Dion, let's let's throw this to you. What is the target priority for Timo? What ship does he want off early? Do, I mean, obviously, obviously, you'd love to get Kylo, but let's be realistic. What 
what's your target your opening target priority if you can I mean, um, I, I think it. you have to see what Nick is willing to give you. The first ship that overextends, you take it. Um, Kylo is really good at kind of dangling, like, hey, look at me, look at me, look at me. And the, here's the thing about the silencer. It is, it is arguably the best get-out-of-town ship. Right, you have a ton of flexibility on on the dial. I would say maybe the only other ship that is uh, has more flexibility than that. I mean, just like dial wise, would be the Resistance A wing. But the problem is that the Resistance A wing doesn't have as much post maneuverability uh, with the uh, either combination of boost barrel roll or barrel roll boost. So correct, y you get a lot of flexibility there. These silencers can continue to cycle out, and I'm expecting to see the speed of the silencers be what uh, what Nick ends up using to try to converge onto a single target. And here we go. Uh, it's time for uh, soon tier to start doing soon tier things. Focus evade on uh, on. Oh, oh, and we're forgetting. We're forgetting stuff. Ping the box. Because you're just getting in there so fast. Here we go. The real roll this time. So decision whether to spend the focus or not. Yep. He will. And the aggression... Not quite paying off. You're going to see the signer. I'm assuming spend the focus there. I don't think. I don't think this is the time to be giving up shields. A little bit too early for that. Yeah, he'll spend it. Yeah, I unlikely think... uh, he does anything. Now that being said, right? That being said, he will get a shot back too. I love the different pockets of battles that we have happening over here too. Right? Yeah, it looks like like three three one on ones. Yeah, exactly. There we go. We got hit crit whisper into Kylo. Kylo's going to have to use a. Uh, oh, there's a juke. We're going to get so an expenditure both of force. both force. Uh, not used to seeing whisper with juke. Not uh, not lately. Yeah, very expensive. Two but hits effective. going into whisper now. Effective all the same. Here we go, and looks like, ooh, having to spend the focus and the evade to avoid all the damage. I'm Where did that reroll that... come from for Kylo? Or... That I don't. Was there a lock, or did he? Did that fall out? I'm curious where that came from. Just uh, looking I... for that chat. Help us out there. It was a lock. Yeah, I don't, I don't there know. There was what a lock. Oh, it was a lock. Okay, cool. Yeah. I couldn't remember. I didn't see it on. Whisper, mm -hmm. thanks, chat. Appreciate it. Two crits and a uh, and a focus here coming from the Sinar Jameis. So did Whisper not lose anything there then? Uh, no, she didn't because she, she was willing to spend the evade. Wow. Which I think is gutsy, by the way. Very gutsy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No cloaking. But I think I think with the amount of open space that's on the board. Yeah, You'll see Whisper fine. go towards Kylo because Kylo is stressed, yeah. cannot turn around. You go towards Kylo, um, and that makes it so that Kylo can't shoot you. And you, yeah, you end up evading for your action. Or it means that Kylo can go after Vader, though, too. So, again, I'm very, very curious to see both players having to, to play very, very um, tight. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They'd have to... The three ace versus three ace is... A, you know, and it, it might be like the Sinar Jameis engineer, you say, well, that's not an ace, but it's, a, it, you know, he's in an ace shit and he can block too. And that's something that Timo needs to be a little bit wary of with Suntir as well. Um, is and now I know Suntir in that bullseye blocking is not that big of a deal, but that Sinar Jameis engineer can move first and, and muck things up just a little. Yep. Now, the, these guys. Uh, this is really cool. I haven't seen a game like this in a long time where we have three aces kind of fought, falling, fighting against each other. Huh. Yeah, not as common anymore as it used to be, right? Yep. Well, I mean, there's been there's been a strong surge of uh, of swarm play, which is not. And I want I want to hedge because I know that some people get a little sensitive on this. I'm not saying that swarms are bad. Okay, I'm just saying that they have become more popular because they've actually become effective. 
in in the numbers uh, for a lot of different uh, ship types. Oh no, types. absolutely. It's just a ace play. It, you'll usually find a lot of uh, a, lot, a lot of like uh, first edition players who who like ace play because that was for a long time the, one of the only viable strategies besides kind of like brute force efficiency lists. And uh, yeah, that's you know it is a thing. No doubt, no doubt. What are you looking for if you're Nick here on this round? What are you looking at, Dion? I mean, you have an opportunity to get two shots onto Vader, two different shots on the Vader. I think that's what you take. You see if you can get Vader shields this turn. Now, who, who's first player again? Timo's first player. Okay, so that means Whisper is going to be moving first. I mean, is there anything she could do about the five straight on Kylo? I don't think so. It's a little dicey because Whisper could do the one hard left, right? You could, but, but I, I think the five straight makes it so that Kylo would be alongside of Whisper. Unless she does the one hard barrel roll, then you're being blocked. But I think I still I think it's still a safe play. I don't know I don't know yeah. how, I don't think Vader can punish you too bad for it, especially if you bring Blackout in for support. So both these uh guys are four and one, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's uh this is for the marbles, man. So they both need to fly their tails off here. Yeah, there's going to be a couple of four and twos that do make it, just depending on where MOV is. And you know what? We have. Uh, I'll just go take a look right now. Uh, this is Timo Herzl, four and one right now. So he's actually sixth on the ladder. He has top MOV out of all nice. of the four and ones. Yeah. So and Timo doesn't want to get dunked on here if he loses. Mm hmm. Nick's and up. honestly, it's pro if he loses, this will probably more than likely be a close loss. Yeah. And uh, that's usually how these games, I mean, I could be wrong, but it's usually how the games turn out because not all the ships will be destroyed because of the ace play. People are running, taking time. Boom. Very possible that the winner of this game only gets half on something, right? We got a K-turn out of Whisper. Look at this play very, from Timo. You never see gutsy. Whisper K-turn willing to take the risk here uh, because he was pretty sure that Kylo was going to go in aggressive at Vader. He was yep. right and yep. saying, you know what? I get shots. That's what I'm, That's all I'm looking for. Yeah. Now, Nick is also, he's in the, the uh, he's basically right in the middle of the four and ones right now. Uh, you got 1,343 MOV for Nick Burke, and then you got um, Timo Herzl with 1,558 MOV. Blackout bringing it aggressive, trying to catch a Vader. Vader sandwich right now. Can Vader scoot out? We'll find out. Now he can barrel roll and not take any shots. He's good. Takes a lock. Say, hey, you know what? I get a free lock. Lock, spend the force for a barrel roll, I'm assuming. There's, unless unless he's actually already out of arc. He is. Uh, yeah, he is. So he's in a good spot right there. So again, this is, all, this is all okay for uh -huh. both players. Like, Kylo's going to take a pretty bad shot from Whisper here. Um, he should be okay. There's gas cloud coverage there. Soonsier can. Don't I don't think Soonsier will be able to get uh, a non-obstructed shot. It'll be close. Now, one thing to note about uh, Timo's setup. Not sure if you guys saw that. Timo purposely set both uh, Soontier and Vader at different angles. And not only at a different angle for 45, they're both at two different angles. So he's trying to take advantage of the geometry and be turned just slightly. And that'll that'll make some close opportunities where if everybody's at 45 and 90 where you wouldn't have got it, make it so that he does. All right, two hits. Yep. Oh, Ooh, blank out on Kylo. Ooh, two shields immediately. My goodness. Hate to see that. And this I'm, early in the game, that's a major, major swing. And now Whisper not only gets to do the damage, the ability goes off after you perform an attack that hits, gain an evade yep. token. It's going to be wow. able to spend that evade token to gain the cloak and be ready to go get some flexibility for next turn. What? 
a horrific nightmare scenario for Timo's Whisper. Yeah. Or no, I'm sorry, for Nick's uh, Kylo. Yep. The dream scenario for the Whisper. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you want it. We talked about it earlier, uh, right? Kylo is the prime target. You do want Kylo to die. It is the best ship in Nick's list. Being able to be ahead here, having two shields already, you probably got Vader K-turning or Talon rolling next turn because you can get Whisper out of the way with the uh, with the decloak. I mean, we're gonna. We're going to see Nick have to start playing a little bit cagey with with uh, with Kylo because basically the MO of most Kylo players, most, not all, is that once you lose those shields, you got to start being careful because you're now one hit away from giving up half points on your most expensive ship. No, you're 100% correct. This is... Yeah, Nick's got to be looking at this being like, oh, geez, oh, man, oh, Rick. No, oh, it's just like not not what you want this early to have to worry about Kylo being down to four hull and then one more you're losing geez like 30 plus points and, and you know Whisper is just salivating like gimme 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 Now, one of the oh, things about Soontir, let, let's talk about Soontir's position. I know that uh, these silencers could, at least Kylo and uh, and the Sinar Jameis could go after them, but having that initiative advantage uh, in the list is, is going to give... Soontir has as much flexibility as those interceptors, just less health. And yeah. Soontir is bait. 99% of the time, Soontir is bait. But it's bait that you have to at least keep kind of occupied so that... Soon tier doesn't pick apart your list because soon tier can 100% do that. Oh, I mean, that's what soon tier it's it's a uh, soon tier is one of the, the best ships in the game at playing keep away, but also like <laughs> um, punishing you if you don't go after him, right? Mm hmm. Here's Blackout coming in, anticipating uh, the next couple turns and engagement on that left side of the board. Taking the boosts, planning on firing on Vader or Whisper. Yeah, it's a really good positioning there for Blackout. Kylo going fast, getting out of range. If Vader were to do a K-turn, would be out, though Vader could Talon roll afterburners and get that booty. How is Vader going to afterburners? Oh, he doesn't have afterburners! Ah, never mind! How is he going to do that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is very, no booty very, for Vader. Very interesting deduction there, Dion. Never mind. You don't get the booty. <laughs> I mean, he could just cheat, right? I mean, it's true. <laughs> Do what you want, just, man. Yeah. So Vader is going to be taking a, a uh, not mod well, modified with the force, but a two die shot. By the way, um, every galactic ch uh, championship participant is going to be getting an acrylic uh, ink art Vader. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen that. I sent out a bunch of notices on, on Discord about the switch up uh, of participation cards just because of an, an artist issue. But I'm going to tell you, the... The new one looks sharp. Looks absolutely sharp. No barrel roll there for Soontir. And this is where oh. Timo really has an advantage with these I6s, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, in 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 every game I've ever played, having flexibility. And being able to make decisions after your opponent plus flexibility equals advantage. Uh, you just have to make sure that you're in a position to use it. That's the tricksy part with X-Wing is you got to put your yeah. dial in the right place. If you're not in the right place, you can't take advantage of it. All right, well... <laughs> Seems fine, right? That's all fine. They, they both rolled off the table. These rogues. We'll just keep it going. I don't want to. I don't want to mess up with their flow. It's round six. Here we go. S 
spending the force for two hit. Look at the aggression here. He, yeah. I, th I think Timo went to the school of Dale Cromwell. He really did, though. Blackout, though. Going and going after Vader. Oh, yes. Ooh. Spend that all day. Vader Only has one force on, on Vader, too. Mm hmm. Oh! oh. oh. Two shields, Two down shields on, Vader. on Vader. An early touch. Now, he wasn't punished for spending both those force because he only had one to use there, right? Mm -hmm. So, but man, two shields down on Vader, two shields down on Kylo. Seems <laughs> that they are trading neck and neck. Here's the thing, though. Uh, if you trade Vader for uh, for Kylo Ren, that's actually a win for Teemo because Kylo's yes. more expensive. Kylo's sitting at 76 points versus Vader's 69. No doubt about it. No doubt about it, my friend. Now that extra maneuverability is, is the cost there. Now you might be, might be wondering canonically why would Vader be cheaper than Kylo? It's just the it's a ship chassis maneuverability there. You're a ship chassis maneuverability. That, uh, yes. <laughs> Now here's the thing with that stress. Uh, what what do you got on the tie V1 to relieve stress? You got the not the one forward, right? Or is the one forward blue? I always always can get confused with that one. It's the one banks for sure. Two bank, two, two forward, forward, three forward. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not sure you're gonna catch Kylo this turn, but I mean I I'm not sure where uh, where the target is now for Timo. Kylo's being Kylo's doing a good job being pretty cagey. Blackout's in a bit of a precarious spot, right? Mm-hmm. We'll see what he does. But Blackout does get to move uh I think after Whisper, right? Mm-hmm. So that's good. And that Sinar Jameis engineer uh might be burning in here to try to catch vader oh no doubt about it right now this game i would say for three aces i will tell you these these guys are getting more into it than i thought they would be to be completely Me honest too. they are really they're really going at it now do note that the whisper with stealth device when defending with that cloak token does roll five yes yeah five defense dice and that that uh stealth device is does operate even even as a defensive bonus is great but it operates as a deterrent to shoot at whisper too right because it's like wow man it's gonna be hard to push through that damage you got to focus the evade all that stuff we saw earlier how you know already one really good shot ended up doing no damage mm -hmm. and i see a couple people asking about the vader uh, the stress for Vader from the Talon roll, it is there. It's just behind the ship from your guy's angle. Promise it's there. We can show you on the GSP Patreon cam. Sure can. Sponsored by the GSP patrons. Boom. Right here. There's Vader stress. Right Such here. Production quality. So right right now, we're just looking at the engagement. Of course, you, you right. have you have these silencers. You got that nice lane coming in for uh, coming in for Vader. Now the question I have is Kylo going to be turning in here to join the Sinar Engineer and trying to hurt Vader now that those shields are gone, or now that the shields are gone on Kylo as well? Uh, are we going to keep seeing caginess? Uh, I don't know. Chat, what do you guys think? Are we going to get uh, aggressiveness? Or are we going to be cagey? Here we go. Well, it's actually completely different than what I thought. Going through the gap here. Let's go back to the table cam. Wow. Excellent. Going at soon tier. Look at this. Let's see if you can get a blackout block. Mm. I think this is probably likely unexpected to be completely honest. Uh, the the crash in here on uh, on soon tier. Oh, I find the boost interesting. That that is hedging for the two forward there. So 
A faster move on, on Soon Tier would allow him to bunny hop over. Yeah. Kylo continuing to be a little cagey. Yep. Three straight. Relieves the stress. Taking a boost. Might stay unstressed. That, oh, yes, does. And opens up the one hard. I think that's a two. Ooh, the two oh, bank. Just clears. Wow. Might be able to barrel roll to the right and boost away and get out of the Sinar. J yeah, there it is. that's exactly what he's going to do. To the barrel roll. He could boost right and try to get a shot on Kylo, too. Or he could just be content to stay right there. Yep, that was, that was enough to get out of the arc. Just barely, but that was enough. He's just deciding how he wants to do the roll. Mm -hmm. Looking at the options. He took the roll back in order to be able to boost away there. Yeah, and get the shot on Kylo. Excellent. That I think um, obviously you're hoping that that if that two bank blocks soon to you're there, mm -hmm. that's huge, right? Oh, or, yeah. if, you know, if the boost, sorry, blackouts boost blocks Kylo, not Kylo soon to you. Wow, I'm tired. Six game. Oof. But <laughs> no block there. Uh, soon to you're able to do soon to your things. Uh, it looks like we'll have one shot this round. But what this does is blackout is now trailing soon to you here guys so blackout can it's gonna have a really interesting play positioning to be able to too hard left next turn and get stuff in arc right kylo just out of range of vader and that's gonna be range three just barely yeah Ky kylo does have force available yep kylo in a good spot right now unmodded from soon tier one hit and unless a catastrophe happens, this should be okay for Kylo. No Avoid catastrophe. catastrophe. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. But the chase is on for Kylo, as we see, which could open up opportunity. Now, right here, uh, Nick does opt to trigger. I'll show you the dark side. Now, I show you the dark side is a card that rarely gets used for most Kylo players, uh, unless it's this situation. It costs Nick absolutely nothing to spend the force this turn to trigger. Yep. I'll show you the dark side. Placed a panic pilot on that. Uh, I'll show you the dark side card. If soon tier were to suffer a critical damage from any of the enemy ships, instead of the critical damage from a deck uh, it would deal the critical damage on the i'll show you the dark side card which is that panic pilot double stress soon tier don't like being double stressed he doesn't but it's still a really interesting play i almost wish i almost would rather if a crit gets through on soon tier to take my chances on what it is a structural damage right a um even a direct there's a lot of directs in there i it you know, you know, it's a interesting choice. I'm not saying it's the wrong choice. I'm not saying it's a bad choice. Uh, just a very interesting choice to go to choose the panicked pilot on soon tier there. Now it's a, it's interesting for sure. I'm going to take a second and look at where our point spread ended up being in the community. I will say right now, Timo, heavy favorite, 72.26% of the field placed their bets on uh, on Timo. Now, with the Choose Your Champion race, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Mr. Rocker Crocker is in the lead with uh, 94,443 points right now, being closely chased by Bigfoot Bundy and Wampa, Wampa Pattern Baldness. We'll see where the bets end up. Uh... Wampa Pattern Baldness. <laughs> a plus name. He may not win the points, but he wins the name. There you go. I'm curious, Mr. Rocker Crocker, where where'd you place your bets? I, I kind of want to know. One. This is a tough one. Hey, D Dion, can we do an uh, an over under poll just for fun? Not uh, for points. Yeah, on the on the screen, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, on the screen, just for fun. Yep. Uh, I want to do an over under. Okay. Mm -hmm. Six point five ships remaining at the end of this game. <laughs> Or sorry, not 6.5. Uh, over under 5.5. That's what it is. So over under 5.5 ships. All right, give me a second. I'll get that game. up right now. 
And that's, of course, combined between the two. Yeah, combined between the two, over under 5.5 ships remaining at the end of the game. I want to see what people think. Will a single ship get destroyed? Now, this won't be for points. It's not a bet, right? It, it no, just, I this is see. just for fun. Just, just, fun. Just... just for fun. I just want to see what people at the community thinks. Brag. Uh, this is for bragging rights right now. Yeah. Yeah. So saying over means that you don't think anything dies under. Yeah, you don't think anything dies. Yeah. Yep. With 44 minutes remaining. What would you pick, Dion? Uh, man, I think smart money's on the over, but my 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 heart says under. <laughs> I mean, look at it. Everyone's picking the under. Yeah, I mean the the the, the issue is that these all these ships they except for Vader specialize yeah. in. Um, in arc dodging, in maneuverability, in getting out, not being shot. But Vader is a hammer, and I think that Vader is the one who will push us to the to the uh, to the under because he can pop one of these. If he gets a hold of you, he's gonna do damage. Or either Vader himself will be the one who pops, right? Yeah, exactly, because he's the bruiser, right? He, he likes to be in there, not as much f flexibility, no afterburners, sad. And uh, <laughs> uh, But obviously, Timo has been putting putting him in. What What is happening? What? I don't know what's happening. I think they were maybe talking to each other about oh, a possibility. All right. So one bank's there. Uh, ooh, going to have a nice range one shot. Wow. Interesting. Has a nice spread arc there for soon tier, even though it looks yeah. like uh, Blackout doesn't have any mods. Uh, so you just gotta gotta plink something through on soon tier. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Whisper, very nice shot though, too, right? Yes. Oh, interesting. The, this is look at this. I Nick is baiting Whisper. It's like, hey, shoot me, please don't shoot Blackout. I know you got a juicy range one. Shoot me. I'm looking <laughs> look at me out here. It's fine. It's really gutsy, man. Real gutsy to roll Kylo like that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, especially with uh Whis Whisper has range one on blackout. You got Juke active, which is gonna act like a crack shot because Blackout doesn't have any tokens. I mean, there's some additional utility there too. You make that turn to get soon to your into range of Kylo a little tougher as well. You might want himself to have more flexibility for Kylo to turn next turn. I think that barrel roll does more than just acting as bait, mm -hmm. right? Vader able to clear the stress and sitting in two arcs. Vader might be popping here. Well, we'll, we'll find out, man. Look how many few how, how how many fewer votes we get when money's not on the line or points. Very funny. <laughs> no points, no votes. <laughs> no. I don't. Only I only play if there's money on the line. <laughs> my fake my fake digital GSP points. <laughs> my fake karma. All right. So soon to your ops for the barrel roll and yep. the focus. And going at the range one, he's like, I am not passing up yeah. that juicy shot. Yeah. Nom, nom, nom. Three hits, baby. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Uh, yeah, didn't even have to use the juke. All three nom. going through. We got half points right off the bat on Blackout. Ouch. Man, that whisper just hits like a truck. Still, 
one of the best ships in the game. People say, oh, oh you know, people say. Uh, I have legitimately heard people say that it's uh, the points hike, you know, it's too she's too expensive now. Not for what she can do. Whisper is still the best piece the Empire has without question. All right. Hit crit. Going in the Vader. That's a crit. Oh, man. Direct hit. Vader's down to one. One. Woof. Big yikes. But remember, we said, like, if there was one ship that Vader, that, that could be lost here, Vader would be the one to choose, right? But this is real rough. Let's see if the, what this roll is. Only a crit. And one, he gets it. It's fine. Everything's fine. Vader says he's fine. And that'll be it. Yep. Whisper just a quick note. We, I just I, I didn't want to get distracted from our current attacks. Um, the first time through on defense for blackout, uh, they did a they did a reroll. Um, they had to reroll because Nick accidentally rolled too many dice. He rolled four on the initial roll. Right. So then yeah. uh, he just they just redid the roll there as per the rules. Did three dice. Got the two evades. Uh, yeah. Still lost. Still lost a couple shields though in that engagement. Absolutely. Yeah. So now Nick, uh, Nick is up zero to thirty-five right now. It, it, on on the onset, we really liked Timo's positioning, um, but starting to fall a little bit behind right now. Vader only one point sixty-nine. Nice points uh, up yeah, for grabs nice. if you take uh, take Vader out. Jeez, it's a tight one. There's no doubt about it. Oh man, this 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 is an exciting game. These guys are playing really fast too. <laughs> like once the engagement like, happens, I, mean, I like the speed. I like the speed at which they play. The thoughtfulness is in the uh, is is in the dials, and there's so many permutations of what can happen with the amount of flexibility in these ships. And this is this is that a swing is like, listen, I know I know what you can do, and I know what I can do, but which. Which decision where, where are you gonna tree go? are you yeah, going to go? Which situation? This is just a fun match. I think every game we've watched, Dion, mm -hmm. has been a blast so far. I think you're right. I think you're right. And I think it comes down to a couple things, right? Uh, we've had some cool matchups. So thanks, Nick. Yep. But also, the players have brought some really different and interesting lists with the, uh, with the added um, the addition of the Thai Brute and the Heralds of Hope. It puts some meta diversity in, plus the increase of the points for the Petronaki Ace and, and the Nantex across the board, minus Sunfock. It it made it so that people had a, this is this is a little bit of a meta wild card because we knew the only thing that we know that's good um that that was untouched is boba fett like we knew b b without a doubt boba fett is good and i i'm almost sure we'll see a boba fett in the field next week i uh, sorry next week uh tomorrow oh god next week <laughs> no next i have next week off uh, actually off off of off of uh streaming an event we have minus we have actually uh our our flight club stream night uh next week but uh not a full weekend because I I got I got to work on shipping. <laughs> we got yeah, some you prizes to ship. To Which is the the other reason why I'm not doing any events in November and December. <laughs> Give myself two months to get everything shipped out. Yep, pack them boxes. All right, clears the stress there with the signar set up in a spot to take advantage of Vader. Now, tomorrow we will be live with the top 32 at the same time as we started today, that it's 10 a.m. Central. Yes. Whatever time that is in your local, mind you, if you're a player in the top 32, which I don't know how you're listening to me right now, if you are, but just in case, maybe you're watching back the replays later, uh, later on, player meeting, 9 a.m. 
So make sure you guys have those notifications on on Twitch. Really appreciate everybody who has hit that follow button. And Vader sitting there. Um, uh, probably going to be end up getting blocked here by that Sinar. Whisper ready for that, though. Guns pointed at Blackout. Uh-oh. Now, you can have Vader. I'm going to take that Blackout. Yeah, exactly. 34 minutes left in this matchup. Yep. And that, that's part of the game of X-Wing, right? It's, it's trying to fit figure out the best trades you can get, uh, especially on a three and three match. Now, a note about Kylo. Um, Kylo has been, has, hasn't taken a, sh taken a shot since that first pass. And I'm, I'm a little worried. Nick has been in a good position the last couple turns. And I really would have liked to see Kylo turn in this turn uh, in order to have an advantage to get some shots on the whisper, put some, uh, put some offense out there. I know you're trying to hold on to those points, but, yeah. You got to be taking shots. You can't get too cagey because if you give Timo two on two, you're eliminating your uh, your advantage of being able to go one on one with these ships. Absolutely, dude. 100% agree with you that you have to choose when you're going to bring. I know you're a little spooked about Kylo. I, mm -hmm. I I agree. I am, too. But you you need your guns. He's one of your best guns. And it looks like you're you know very possible that you could. About to lose one of them in blackout, one of your best. All right, people in the chat asking about the sub goal. Um, our our last prize we have available for today is if we hit 300, we unlock that resistance bomber. And thank you to everybody who's gotten us to 282. You guys are amazing. And those uh, stretch goals are just ways for me to say thank you for those of you who uh, who donate and use Twitch Prime and. Uh, and and who who subscribe via Twitch? You guys are amazing. Absolutely. Uh, All righty. So we got Vader to turn in. We got some early results here. Nicholas God going six and zero oh will be nice. in the cut for tomorrow. You know he's quietly putting together one of the best seasons that we've seen him him and Fawn. Yep. Nicholas has just been crushing it. Uh, he, you know, I've, I've been trying to get him on, on. We'll get him on the podcast for sure. We've been trying. Mm -hmm. um, he is just been doing an incredible job this season. He should be a household X-wing name by this by this point. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Nicholas God, absolutely amazing player. Um, and I think you're right. And I, I think it's he, he, he actually did win. He did win yeah. a, a galactic uh, a, a galactic championship qualifier. He got he got one of those W's under his belt. Uh, played really really well and has done it with a lot of different squads. If you guys exactly. really look at look at his at the track record, it hasn't just been one thing. Um, yeah, it's it's pretty awesome. Yeah, I uh, he's one to watch for sure. Um, I mean, I'd rank him in you know the top. I don't know if the Definitely top 10 players in the world right now. No question. Soon tier only gets one hit on this attack on Kylo Ren. Ends up with two. Kylo takes the first damage. So right there, the disengage from Kylo Ren got Nick nothing. He ends up giving up half points anyway. If he would have turned in, soon tier likely wouldn't have been able to shoot him. Um, ah, tough, tough, tough positioning there. Yeah, really rough overall. Vader fire control system. That's gonna be three hits and a crit into uh, yep, spending the force right there. Three hits and a crit going into blackout. Could clear him right here. Initiative kill. Yes. Gets yes. Him. Gone off the table. Blackout. Dead. Just super aggressive. Whoo. The aggression there, the aggression from Vader into blackout. <laughs> the, the crowd loves it. The heart around Vader. <laughs> love it. Wow. Absolutely love it. Like, that's just, oh, that's amazing. I choose violence, he says. <laughs> Oh, 
And that's exactly what you were saying, right, Dion? Yep. Yeah. That um, Vader, Vader's a hammer. Mm -hmm. That's what he does. Yep. And you're, you're willing to bring him in as a bruiser, and you say, you know, I might lose Vader, but Vader is going to lay down some pain before he goes. <laughs> Wampa pattern baldness. I cannot repeat what you said on stream, uh, but that's hilarious. All right. So, yeah, we got half points on Kylo. We'll get that extra damage put on the overlay uh, any second here. I'm sure Nick's working on something right now. Uh, I know that he he, sim he simultaneously edits League Night videos uh, during, <laughs> during this. So he's he's still doing work for you guys while he's doing work for you guys. He's trying to double up his time. It's actually it's it's quite smart. Uh, here we go. Hit hit crit was oh that's devastating, devastating. Just seeing that there on the board. And then the the Sinar also lost a couple of shields as well. It's going downhill quick for Nick, which can happen in ace games, right? Yep. Yeah, these, these ace games, and that's the thing right there. They have these three agility, and the sacrifice you make up for that is the fact that they have low health. So uh, you can... you And usually usually these silencers, they're a little chunkier, right? They've got yep. a little bit more in them, but... Oof. And I think one thing that, that happens for a lot of players... Now, obviously, these guys, they're playing they're playing their quiches off. They're doing, they're doing absolutely amazing. But one common thing I see for players is... Yes, three agility can net you some absolutely ridiculous situations where you feel like you're dodging everything, but you cannot expect. So, for instance, when you fly soon tier, you cannot expect that those three evade dice means that you never take damage, because oh, absolutely, right? Yeah, like that. That's not how the math works. Right. You have you have a high ceiling. The ceiling is there; it exists, and you will access that ceiling, and you will have moments of absolute dice greatness but uh the other side of the average curves exists as well so so whisper here going too straight avoiding to avoiding taking shots from uh from the sinar Jameis engineer very uh very good and common strategy there one way to just not take uh damage is a tactical bump on the enemy And Nick's not going to give up. He's going to do everything he can now. Remember, he still has Kylo, right? Mm -hmm. Just a half Kylo. Like, but he's going to do, with this 27 or so minutes, everything in his power to try and bring this back in his favor. Yep, you got to leverage Kylo. And I'm, I'm very confident that Nick is likely uh, kicking himself a little bit for keeping Kylo so cagey because Timo never bit on the bait. Right? No, he didn't. He he did he didn't bite on it, and that's that's part of the gambit. That that's part of the risk of when you try to dangle the ship because he was always close, close enough where Timo could have yeah. taken not optimal shots. And Timo's like, I, I, why, why would it? Your arc is pointed away from me. I don't exactly. got to deal with you. Now, important note: this Timo is not Timo Rabe. This is Timo nope. Hetzel. Different Timo. Both German. Both. Very good at X-Wing. Here yeah, we go. Both very, very, very good. Vader taking the shot at his grandson. Fire control system. That's going to be two hits and a crit. Spending it. Saying, I don't care. I'm going to spend these mods. Going to get me a Kylo. Eee! Crit, crit going into Kylo Ren. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Big yikes. Is this going to be? We got a structural damage for the first one. And oh. a hole breach. Just nightmare. The nightmare continues for Nick. Just horrendous. That Kylo, structural damage is... Kylo trying yeah. to put a nail in Vader's coffin. Grandfather, show me the way to the dark side. Three focuses. I mean, dump the, dump the force. This is your chance right now. Yeah. Got him. Got him. Vader down. Wow. Vader down. Incredible. But still... Kyle is at one hull against the entirety of the rest of Timo's list. Yep. Soon tier hasn't been touched. Whispers clean. Whoo. Man. 25 minutes left. Yeah. I mean, if if Kylo gets ripped, 
from his cockpit into the uh, vacuum of space anytime soon. I mean, I think that's game. The Sinar by itself cannot do it. Though Kylo and the Sinar, if they if they can focus their fire on a ship, I think honestly, you don't have the positioning for it because they're both stressed, so they can't quite converge on a ship. But if if you can bring them together and maybe chase down Suntier. Get soon to just because it only takes three three hits to get them out. You have Sinar and Kylo versus Whisper. You have a chance. You have a chance, but I, I think you got to get rid of uh, soon to your first. I think that's your priority. If I'm Nick. Mm. Well, my over under was clearly you know there was violence, right? <laughs> there was. There was there was definitely violence. All right. And impeccably flawed. You are 100%. Suntier can still arc dodge with the best. I mean, you, you can't be taking range one shots at Suntier. And I think that's uh, another thing that uh, players got to watch out for. When you're playing against arc dodgers, you don't want to take... You don't want to be trying for range one. You want to take range, like back end of range two shots in the middle of your arc that's where you want that's where you want those maneuvers for the aces to land because it's harder it's harder there's a, a bigger surface area for them to escape range one for an ace easy baby i can get out of that all day if you're a small base ship uh you need to be taking range two and three shots uh heavy agree with you there it's just like very rare you'll get a range one on a co against a competent ace player unless you've got you know blocks or tractors or some other sort of thing or the ace player's bad mm -hmm. which i mean it's x-wing so a lot of bad players <laughs> insulting the people they know they, they all know deep down they all know <laughs> all right so sign our Jameis. none of you are winning the 50 million dollar tournament <laughs> Oh, man. And the K turn from Whisper. By the way, that includes me. I'm not winning. I'm bad. I'm bad. <laughs> Whisper just being aggressive. Come at me. I'm in K turn. I don't care. She doesn't care. <laughs> Do you know who I am? But keeping that evade token, going to be able to set up the cloak for next turn. Uh, and even though uh, you won't be able to get that evade token back next turn, should be able to clear it with a maneuver after decloaking and uh, be able to get it right back. So the second stress here on Kylo after the barrel roll, you have th those silencers facing opposite directions. A bow tie turret of silencers, some would say. It's <laughs> a good one, man. Maybe you should get a bow tie and just glue a silencer on each one. <laughs> <laughs> Wear it to the Goldies when you bring that back. Yes. Nick's got to figure out something here. He's just right now. He's just kind of hoping, I guess, that he can maybe pull out a miracle. Mm -hmm. Get a one shot on soon tier or, you know, get half on whisper, but it'll, it's going to be tough regardless. All right. Taking Especially that. with Kylo, you're going to lose Kylo. You just straight are going to lose him. Yep. And here's your range two shot. That's just pretty inevitable. It's... And that's going to be two hits after spending the focus structural damage here. Gone. Oh. Good That's night, why there's only two, two dice there. The structural damage yeah. on Kylo. Toast. Signer versus the world here. I mean, essentially, here's the thing, though. Nick still needs to fight for MOV. This is a 4 and one game. If he can get some points, it will be to his advantage uh, in the MOV standings. He doesn't want to drop out of that top 32. And if he uh, if he were to concede here, that would immediately dis that would just give up those forty eight points. Yeah, he's got to do. He's got to fight mm -hmm. tooth and nail as long as he's got that Sinar Jameis to maybe get a few more points. You know what, Dion? I'm glad that there isn't a fifty million dollar X Wing community because it would destroy the uh, tournament. It would destroy the game. 
I, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Can we, you imagine? We play, we play for plastic and pins and yep. glory and fun. And fun. Trophies. That's what I'm talking about. Yep. Yeah, 10, 15 seconds each each action. Everyone vote. <laughs> Let's see if the the hive mind can beat Dion. I'm I'm super in. I think it'd be incredible. Yep. Like I I have a I have a notebook where I wrote down the concept. This was during during the world's uh like the world tour that I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh I wrote it down. I was like, I don't know how to make this, but this is what I'd want it to look like. Uh Crazy Vulcan says, I know a guy. I think that's a wink wink towards towards him. So yeah, Crazy Vulcan, we we could put our heads together and see see what we can figure out. It would be honestly, like as as hype as like Twitch play Twitch plays Pokemon was all I was so happy to be a part of that. That was one of the best experiences of my college life. It was so much fun. Um my roommates and I stayed up all night like trot like playing and being in the Elite Four and whatever. It was, it was uh, Elite Ten, whatever it was. I can't remember, but it was so great. This would be this would surpass that. I want to see the big brains of Twitch chat <laughs> <laughs> put their money where their mouth is. Uh, Nick, let's get a clock adjustment when you got a sec. Love you guys. Yeah, well, we the clock on the table is running. We just got to we got to get the clock adjusted. Yeah. Oh, there we go. All right, here we go. We're, we're getting back into it. And that's Sinar's hiding behind the cloud. Whisper, no touch. <laughs> Stay away. Has a focus and the gas cloud. Five dice on defense. Who? Oh, boy. Spend it all. I you're, 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 you're Is fine. there a juke in there? Yeah, oh, yeah he has focus. He's good. He's good. Yeah. I didn't, yeah, you're right. I didn't see that. Yep. But it's fine. Only a matter of time. <laughs> Could it be called armchair X-Wing? Nah, I, I, while that's true exactly what it would be, I think Twitch Plays X-Wing is just a, a very direct, exact translation to what it it's is just a win it's just a win yeah because everyone knows twitch play x is really good though armchair x-wing is a pretty solid name but it is I, i'm a big fan of twitch plays x-wing i think that would be just really fun yeah i think i think version one version one of my idea is like a player versus the chat but uh i think there is a way as well that we could assign you basically could pick, choose a side and you can play for either yeah. side. <laughs> Eventually, though, I think like Twitch plays X Wing against itself would be really funny. Yeah, at some yeah. Point. Sorry, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Yeah, like yeah, you choose yeah. a side and yeah, <laughs> fifty people versus fifty people. I would watch that. <laughs> It'd be super dank, honestly. Coming soon, 2021? <laughs> Twitch wing, yeah. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see, but <laughs> I'd love to see 500 people versus 500 people play. <laughs> and maybe we maybe we pre-assign the lists to make them pr like no, with no upgrades at first, right? Yeah, you just we do, have to start super simple. Yeah, maybe like three X-Wings versus three X-Wings or something, or three X-Wings versus a few ties, or just the core set game to start, right? And just see where it goes. <laughs> like, wow, you guys are bad. <laughs> because you know, just just like in the in the the Twitch plays Pokemon, right? You have people who are memeing, and you have people who are actually trying to work together yeah. to get it yeah. done. Yeah, just, just we like, probably would need like a like a wall on the outside of the board. So like, use the um the objective rules that we used to have for flying off the board, where you just you fly off the board, but it just like treats it as a bump basically mm -hmm. oh aces high would be a better way to do it someone just said in the chat you have 20 people per ace oh jesus christ the, the number of variables though that's going ah. if, yeah if we can just get we can everyone's just get, has to make one decision that they're voting on I, I don't know that might be the way to do it dude aces high with people playing 
different ships. Seems fun. Eventually. Whisper. Someday. <laughs> Someday. Whisper going hard here. Uh, does hit the cloud. Wants it all. Still has that evade, though. Marsh Cliff, that's exactly what we're talking about. There would be no... Pl the, the planning phase would be you guys using the, the Twitch chat to... Uh, or the, whatever interface that would be built to do the, the dials. Yeah. That's exactly the point. You got totally. it. Totally. You, you, are, you are in the ballpark, friend. Oh, Mark of the Violence! Four. Spend the focus. Takes two. Hit crit. Hit crit. Now only two health left on the poor engineer watching his good friend Kylo die. And there's a fuel leak in there. Oof. Big yikes. This is uh, the Sinar engineer is actually uh, the radar technician. Turns out they he were is. two different people the whole time. <laughs> You're constantly being confused. <laughs> I really did find Kylo Ren's lightsaber in the bathroom. I did. I swear. <laughs> He's got sweet abs. I've seen him. <laughs> oh, that's just such a great skit. It's so good. God. Iconic, honestly. Dion, no spoilers, obviously, but have you watched the first two episodes of Mandalorian? Yes. Um, have you enjoyed them? Yes. Me too. You know, I 100% non-spoiler what I'm about to say. The, the simple thing I've enjoyed is, and I think it's because the first season went well, is that the episodes are longer. That's nice. Yeah, the episodes are a little longer. Uh, the production quality, um, so it, almost all the post-production, other than some that was allowed in, you know, LFL. Mm -hmm. uh, not LFL, just in Lucasfilm in their most, a huge chunk of it was done remotely. So major kudos to the teams of yep. people that are working remotely on the show, right? that you know you're working remotely right now on this but remote post-production um coming from someone who's lightly in the industry is very not easy work it's mm -hmm. hard to work with a team remotely like that so honestly that's uh big good that it looks and is as polished as it is uh, is a, a, a tremendous achievement to be honest yep i love it yeah yeah as someone that works for a post-production house I can agree. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It just makes everything harder. Everything. Not not easy at all. Oh, we got some people sending you emails, sir. Ooh, about ooh, ooh, you, ooh, 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 you, you put things into the universe and maybe they come through. Then Twitch plays X Wing could be a big hit. Big, big hit. Yeah, I can imagine there are a lot of people in that Carolina crate <laughs> community. That would love to get their hands on a Twitch Plays X Wing. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, Nick, we did get a hit crit on Sinar Engineer with a fuel leak. Thank you, sir. Sub Hedgehog in the chat. I am writing this email to complain in the strongest possible terms about something or another. Uh, Sir Wolf, you will have a reply from me soon, friend. Uh, soon, soon being like, give me a few days, just because I'm I got I got to get out of I got to get out of the galaxy. Got to land my ship for a little bit, do some repairs. The signer James is like, no bully, stop. <laughs> Not like this. I want to go home and see my family. <laughs> I'm just an I engineer. Named, I have a son named Freddy. Freddy Focus. <laughs> Phil, stop. He's already dead. He's already dead. All right, but the the whiff on the four dice. Uh, yeah, make, it real hurts real bad. It hurts real since bad. You're, since you're giveth and taketh away. <laughs> I am a merciful ace. If you are looking for, if you guys are rewatching this game in the future, and I don't know like what you get on on old games that you post, Dion, what oh, those tons. views are like. Tons. Uh, yeah, like this. 
I know we've been a little, we're being a little silly in the commentating because it gets that way when a game appears to be over. But I, I think we can't speak enough for how both of these players have played kind of so far. Uh, Nick has, un, you know, had some unfortunate things roll his way, but they both had some really great positioning early on. Uh, they both clearly had goals and, you know, it just Timo has come out with that early two shields off Kylo really set the tone of the game, I think. Mm hmm. Absolutely. It, you know, he, he, when you blank out with Kylo like that, it immediately changes what you can do. It means he had to be less aggressive with Kylo, which gave Timo just a sliver of an opening to move in aggressively. And that's what we saw happen. Yep. Now we're, we are going to give these players um, a little bit of extra time past the. Um past the, the entire round timer which uh, has gone off already I believe and I'm this not... MLV still really matters for Nick like he wants his, to try his best to you know either keep his signer Jameis alive or if he can even get half on something it'll be really really hard for him to do that but I think he'd love to keep that signer Jameis alive if possible for these next one or two rounds Yeah, I mean, he, he's just trying to hold on to that MOV. Um, try to try to get things rolling here. What else have we seen? Have you, do you have any knowledge, Dion, on what else we've seen that's doing well today? I mean, I could go take a peek really quickly, yeah. Um, yeah, just take a peek on, on, on what else is performing well, just to give the audience out here a sense of what else now that we're in a kind of new meta seems to be doing well maybe a top you know top few lists or something all right xy undefeated with the m3a swarm we saw yep. earlier that's other scum by the way chat that other scum we have another nicholas god guys are this you, guy. listen hold on to your butts right now this man's squad is tarani kolda okay tarani kolda yep. Torkoal Mux, Captain Justero, and a yep. Black Sun Enforcer Star Viper. What? Great squad. What the? We've seen, we've, <laughs> Tarani and Justero has appeared quite a bit uh, lately. It's an underrated combination that we're seeing. Uh, excellent. Excellent there. That is a really, really good list. Bre uh, Brendan Osman Demon uh, Demon is running a, uh, a, a mini, mini swarm here. He's got the he's got four Upsilons, TN, Malris, and Revis. Uh, so not Solid. a swarm, a swarm and Malris, Malris swarm. Uh, we got a Boba Fett Nim, who's doing really well. We saw Catch. Still strong. Yep. Uh, Benjamin Witten has brought uh, back a different type of droid swarm. He's got four vultures and three hyenas. Uh, Niels Voss also doing really well with a tractor tractor beam ion double basically the uh, the the squad that um, Octa played in the Space Jams double double fangs uh, double tractor beam and double ion uh, M3As Steve so, Tio doing really well we saw earlier Tim King has a version of malware as well it's good scum, stuff scum fo both performing really really well Mm -hmm. uh, For, I'll be very interested to see what, what we get in the top 32. Yeah, it, it's going to be an interesting breakdown for sure. Lots of diversity. I will tell you, I've come across two Boba Fett so far. I know people, a lot of people worry about Boba Fett. High concentration of... I, I don't even know about that now. I'm looking at this at this list. See any Wookiees? See any Wookiees, Dion? <laughs> Unexistent. I don't see it. Wow. That's honestly surprising to me. But interesting all the same. Yeah, you think that people would have kept on them? They're still a very strong squad. Well, he, uh, here, here's middle the... of the day, I did see one Wookie AP five list. I think it had a few wins total. I'm not yeah. exactly sure how he did, but I did see one. I don't know if that's right. worth anything or not. And, and here, you know, I I say this. I'm not. This is not no hater raid here, but I think part of the part of the problem with the Wookies are they good? Yes, it is a good squad. The problem is a little boring to play just a little, a little bit. boring to play and it's one of the squads that you might 
you know, you can make a cut and maybe go deep in the cut with it, but you want to win this tournament, right? Right. So I bet a lot of people are taking squads that might have a slightly higher ceiling. Now, I'm not saying Wookiees don't have a high ceiling, but I think that in the cut, it might not be as high as something else that you might be, be able to take. So I think people may have swapped off of it in in preparation for something else. Yep. All right. This is going to be the last round. Good, bad, or ugly. Going to be finishing it here. Do we have any Galaxies competitors in the chat who are hanging out? Nicholas God said, I killed two Wookiees, so it might be that. The Bounty oh. Hunter. Well, Pop. Nicholas, you are you're just dominating. Pop, GG, pop. man. This is our Top last action of the night. Can this Sinar stay alive? This Big is it. Big question. It's for all the bananas. Who knows that reference? This is for all the bananas? I mean, there's always money in the banana stand. I know that. This is for all the bananas. I'm not... That, what is that from, Dion? Uh, World 2018. I made a banana wow. reference. There was this whole banana fiasco in the chat. It was great. Oh, my goodness. Yep. That's a flex to quote yourself. Yep. It's a big flex. I'm mean, over here thinking of like a Disney movie. And you're like, <laughs> not this is from Dion Morales 2018, right? Dion Morales 2018. Oh, four hits. Able to squeak it out. Lives oh. with one hole. The I mean, boy who one. lived. Oh, uh, this the. He's going to go home to his son, Freddy Focus. Wow. Oh, wait. Are they doing another phase? Oh, no. no. It's over. Oh, it's over. Nice. 69 points. Nice. <laughs>